Celtic manager Angie Postacogla has explained how he's managed to get Tom Rogic backfiring at Parkhead once again. Rogic came close to an exit last summer when Celtic agreed to let him go to Qatar. However, the Aussie would turn down the move only to then go and start just 14 games under Neil Lennon and John Kennedy last year. Once again, the 2020-21 campaign proved to be a year in which Tom simply wasn't used consistently enough. He didn't get a run of games under his belt and it showed in his performance levels. Things couldn't be different under Postacogla. Rogic has found a new purpose. He's played in all nine of our competitive matches under the new man, starting four of them. And, as he discussed how he managed to get his form back up to peak level, Postacogla claims he's simply created an environment his countrymen is now enjoying. I try to get players to enjoy their football. As quoted by the Daily Record, Postacogla said, I remind them that we're all pretty blessed to do what we do and we've got a limited time doing it. So let's use every day to be the best we can and remember why we started this whole journey, when we were eight or nine years old, picked up a ball and fell in love with the game. I try to get players to enjoy their football. Sure, understand they have responsibilities and work hard but then get a huge kick when they enjoy some success. That's what's happening at the moment with Tom. He's enjoying the environment, the training and the way we play football. For Tom in the summer it was more feeling good about himself again, getting his body right and playing the football we know he can play. The one thing he did know with me coming was the kind of football we were going to play. That would have suited him, provided he could get himself right physically and be in a good headspace. If he could do that he would enjoy his football. That I do know. Angie Postacogla has made Celtic an enjoyable place for the likes of Tom Rogic and co. Rogic will hardly be the only one who's feeling the positive effects of a new environment at Parkhead. Let's be honest, last year's situation was highly conducive to positive performances. When you have a manager who's constantly willing to throw his players under the bus, it must be difficult to perform for him. When you have one who's putting a plan in place that you believe in, then it can be a totally different landscape. Rogic appears to be thriving from that. He's being made to feel important by the new manager. Made to feel as though he's a key cog in his best starting eleven. It's no surprise that there's confidence starting to show in his performances again. But you can say the same for everyone in our starting eleven. Callum McGregor is clearly growing as a captain whilst Ryan Christie has found a new lease of life in Glasgow. Stephen Welsh is developing as a leader, whilst we all know the renaissance Anthony Ralston is currently going under. Many of the players mentioned above were thought to be not good enough last season. But the manager has created an atmosphere and environment around the football club that's getting the best out of all of them. Rogic is just one of many who are benefiting from it. Here's hoping it's for the long term. What do Celtic fans think of the turnaround with Rogic? St Mirren star discusses superb gestures from Celtic goalkeeper Joe Hart. St Mirren goalkeeper Jack Anik has revealed the amazing gesture from Celtic stopper Joe Hart at halftime on Saturday. Celtic went into the break against the Buddies 4-0 in front. This came after Anik in particular had a shocker for two of the goals. Leal Abada's opener and David Turnbull's second both should have been dealt with by the former Rangers man. He was clearly having a nightmare afternoon. However, the buddies man did manage to come out in the second half and made some decent stops. There was one in particular from Tom Rogic in the closing stages that was particularly eye-catching. But his second half display, even though he let in another two, came after being inspired by the Celtic goalkeeper. Anik explained what happened after the first half, I've got to pay a lot of respect to Joe Hart. At halftime, he walked over to me and said, regroup and make saves. I thought that was class from him. This is someone who has played at the highest level but someone who has been in the position I was in himself. Remember and check out my sister's channel Scottish Football News today, that will have full coverage of all the, Scottish top flight football. Celtic fans subscribe to my channel for more daily Celtic videos. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up.
Tout 